in every society office or organization to maintain visitors record we maintain visitors entry exit register it's really mandatory to maintain all the details of the visitors for safety and security purpose in today's video we will see how to create entry exit register in excel hi my name is vijay and you are watching office mom let's start the video without any delays this is the visitors entry exit register which i have already created in advance the entry will be done manually in the gray parts in the very beginning we have got serial number and serial number is automated means we will not have to do the entry manually visitors name we will do the entry manually i'll put some name over here as soon as i entered the name serial number got visible automatically in date and in time also got visible visiting to flat number it will be managed through drop down all the flat numbers are over here in the drop down we will select a number as soon as we selected the flat number flat owner's phone number as well as his or her name got visible visitors address it will be entered manually purpose of visit we will have to select from the drop down i have taken few examples in case anything is not in the list just type here manually and hit enter when we will hit enter we will get a pop up not in the list if you want to do the entry click yes i'll click yes this means the things which are not in the list the entry can be done manually out yes or no we have to select it manually if the person is out select yes and if the person is not yet out select no when we will select no out time and out date will not be visible but as soon as we will select yes out time and out date will be visible visitors contact number we have to do the entry manually vehicle type we will have to select from the drop down two wheeler or four wheeler and here is the vehicle number let's start creating a new sheet now we will start from b4 serial number visitor's name in date in time visiting to flat number we will press alt and will hit enter here we will type flat number flat owner we will press alt and will hit enter bracket open phone number name of flat owner visitor's address purpose of visit out yes slash no out time out date we will come to right hand side visitors contact number vehicle type vehicle number now we will come to left hand side we'll select the whole sheet we'll go to home and we'll take all the things in mid now we will click on row number 4 and we'll take all the things in mid we'll take this in left means we will take this closer we'll select all the heads and we'll give it a color we'll change the font color we'll create borders we will select from b to i and we'll merge it we'll put some color over here and we'll change the font color this will be visitors entry exit register we'll make the row size bigger we'll take this closer we'll increase the font size we'll change the font style we will select this and we'll create borders serial number our serial number will be automated so i'll insert a formula of sequence over here plus or equal to sequence bracket open after that i'll insert the function of count a count a bracket open we will click just under visitor's name we'll press shift control and down arrow key we'll close the bracket twice and we'll hit enter we will go up and we got an error over here to avoid this error we will insert the criteria of if error we will go to formula bar if error bracket open we will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter so the error got vanished i'll increase the size of visitor's name whenever we will insert any visitor's name serial number will be visible automatically i'll click over here on top and we'll take all the things in mid or center in date the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open visitor's name is not equal to blank for not equal to we will insert smaller than greater than not equal to blank for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice comma if bracket open here we are going to use circular reference so we will select the same cell where we are putting our formula is equal to blank for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice comma now bracket open bracket close comma we will select the same cell where we are putting our formula bracket close comma 
double inverted comma twice. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. We got zero over here because this is in general format. We will take this in center. We will right click the mouse. We will go to format cells. We will take this up. We will go to date and we will select a desired date format and we will do OK. So we got 00 January 1900. We will delete this and we will do the entry once again. And we got today's date 24th January 2024. We will right click the mouse once again. Format cells. We will take this up. We will go to custom. And from here we will delete 1M. And we will do OK. So now it's 24th Jan 2024. We will drag this down. In time. We will copy this formula. Control C or Command C. And we will paste over here. Over here also we got the date. So we will right click the mouse. We will go to format cells. We will take this up. We will go to time. And we'll select our desired time format and we'll do OK. So we got the current time. I don't want seconds over here, just hour and minute. I'll right click the mouse once again. Format cells. We'll take this up. We'll go to custom. And from here, I'll delete SS and we'll do OK. So I got 2 8 p.m. I'll drag this down. The entry of visitor's name will be done manually. So I'll highlight this in gray. Visiting to flat number. We will create drop down for this. To create the drop down, we will need the data. I have created a setting sheet over here. In setting sheet, I have got flat number with wing, owner's name and owner's phone number. I'll come to my format. I'll click on top. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here, I'll select list. Source. I'll click over here and we'll go to my setting sheet. We'll click on the first flat number. We'll press shift, control and down arrow key. We'll click over here once again and we'll do OK. So the drop down got created. Our drop down also got created over here. I'll do one thing. I'll select this from here till here. We'll go to data, data validation. And from here, I'll click on clear all and we'll do OK. So data validation is visible only in this cells. And it's got inserted till end. I'll highlight this in gray. Flat owner's phone number and name. I'll select this and we'll increase the size. Here we are going to insert VLOOKUP. The formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Flat number will be our lookup value. Comma table array. We will be going to setting sheet and we'll select from flat number till phone number. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged comma column index number or column number phone number is in column number three so we will put three over here comma zero we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we got any error over here so we will have to insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter whenever we will select flat number phone number will be visible We'll take this in center. Name of flat owner. Now we will put VLOOKUP in name of flat owner. Plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Flat number will be our lookup value, comma, table array. We will go to setting sheet and we'll select from top flat number with wing, owner's name. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Flat owner's name is in column number two. So we will put two over here, comma zero. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And the name of flat owner got visible. We will click on first flat owner's name. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open will come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we will drag this down. Visitors address. The entry will be done manually. So we will highlight this in gray. We'll increase the column size. Purpose of visit. We will create drop down for this. We will highlight this in gray. We'll click on top. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here, we will select list. Source. I'll click over here. And we'll go to setting sheet. In setting sheet, I have mentioned few purpose of visits. Like meeting, family, friends, technician, delivery person and so on. In this list, you can add more things. 
and we are not going to fix data validation over here. We will keep it open. It means if the things will not be in the list, the entry can be done manually. I'll click on first purpose of visit. We'll press shift plus control and down arrow key. We'll click over here once again. Now we will go to error alert. In style, we can see stop. We will click on the drop down and we'll select warning. Title, not in the list. Now we will click on error message. If you want to do the entry, comma, click yes. I'll do OK. So the drop down got created. I'll select some purpose of visit, cable person. I'll increase the size of column. I'll do the entry of something which is not in the list. Fruit delivery. I'll hit enter and we got the pop up not in the list. If you want to do the entry, click yes. I'll click on yes and the entry is done. But this particular entry haven't got added in the list. In, yes or out. We'll click on top. We'll go to data, data validation. We'll select list from here. Source, we will type yes, comma, no. And we'll do OK. From here, we will select yes. And in this, we will select no. Now we will click on top. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, I'll type yes over here. We'll click on the drop down, customized format, fill, we'll select green color. We'll come to font and we'll select white and we'll do OK. OK. So whenever it will be yes, it will be highlighted in green. We will highlight no in red color, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to, I'll type no over here. We'll click on the drop down, customized format, fill. We'll select red color font as white and we'll do OK. OK. So no got highlighted in red. I'll remove no from here. Out time and out date. Our out time will be managed through yes or no. So our formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open. We will select this means where we are going to put yes or no is not equal to for not equal to we will put smaller than greater than double inverted comma no double inverted comma close comma if bracket open we will select the cell where we are putting our formula is equal to blank or blank we will put double inverted comma twice comma now bracket open bracket close comma we will select the same cell where we are putting our formula bracket close comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter so we got zero over here we will take this in center we will right click the mouse format cells we will take this up we'll go to time and we'll select a desired time format and we'll do ok we will right click the mouse once again format cells we'll take this up custom and from here we will remove seconds and we'll do ok we got 12 am over here we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if if bracket open this cell is equal to blank for blank we will insert double inverted comma twice comma if it's blank in return we want blank so we will put double inverted comma twice once again comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so if this will be blank out time will also be blank i'll select no and the time is not visible if I select yes, time got visible. Outdate. I'll copy this formula, Control C or Command C, and we'll paste over here. I'll come to right hand side. We'll right click the mouse. Format cells. We'll take this up. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format. So if it will be no, out time and out date will not be visible. But if it will be yes, both the things will be visible. Visitors contact number. I'll increase the size of the column. We'll come to right hand side. The entry will be done manual. So we will highlight this in gray. We will highlight this in gray. Vehicle type. We will create drop down for this. I'll click on top. We'll go to data. Data validation. From here, I'll select list. Source. Two wheeler, comma, four wheeler, comma, no. If there will be no vehicle, select no or leave it blank. It hardly matters. We'll highlight this in gray. Our drop down is over here. Two wheeler, four wheeler, and no. I'll select four wheeler, vehicle number. The entry will be done manually. So I'll highlight this in gray. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll come to left hand side. You'll have to keep one thing in mind. 
you will have to do the second entry just under this and serial number got visible properly but in case if you left the second cell and will do the entry over here it will not pick up the serial number properly i'll delete this and we'll do the entry over here now i'll click on in date we'll press shift plus control and down arrow key will come up we'll press shift plus control plus l and a filter button got visible i'll click on filter button the basic reason behind inserting this filter button suppose that i have done entry from january to december and you want to check the entries of july just click on the filter button and select july from here and all the entries of july will be visible so this format is ready now i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye